Tens of thousands of fans, each and every one of them glued to the action. But they're not watching what you'd expect. Esports or competitive computer gaming is slowly becoming more mainstream throughout the world. And in Turkey, even the government sees its potential. The esports can be an interesting market for Turkey because, as I said before, we are a very young population. The surrounding countries, the habitat of Turkey is also all uh, you know, the inhabited by the young uh, populations too. Turkey can be a center for uh, esports, not only for the domestic population, but uh, for the whole region. Riot Games, one of the biggest video game companies, decided to bring their servers to Istanbul, making them the first foreign developers to pick this city as one of their bases. They're the publishers that make League of Legends, one of the most played video games in the world, and as a result, they're becoming more and more involved with how the gaming culture grows in Turkey. Esports is growing a lot because the conventional and traditional sports, the ratings of those sports are falling down every day. And I think there are lots of reasons because of technology, because of internet, because of the habits of the kids and children are, are changing every day. And esports is something they love a lot. So now with children idolizing gamers more than traditional sports stars, who will they want to be like when they grow up? And more importantly, how much does it take to be the very best at gaming? Beyond the talent, which is a prerequisite, uh, you need to be dedicated. I mean, uh, dedication in esports is can you believe that it is much more than the physical sports? Because you got to uh, train for like 10 or 12 hours a day because this is action through repetition. So the repetition part, the practice part is much, much, much more intense. Uh, more fun too, actually, because you, you're still gaming, but you need great talent and great dedication. While it's clear that competitive gaming is much more of a sport than any other, some don't accept that the players are athletes. But as Berke Deme says, it's not too different. When I first started playing League of Legends, it was a game for passing time and spending time with my friends. But the moment I became a professional gamer, it stopped being a hobby for me. When you join a team, there are gaming houses that players live together throughout the league season. They eat together, play together, spend time together. And if we can improve ourselves enough, I'm sure we can have more success internationally. So with the government, the video game developers and the players all in, esports is more than ready to take the next step in Turkey, especially with excitement like this. Next